God, to glory to God, you're welcome to day two of our challenge for reading the art of prayer by Kenneth He again in 26 days. Yesterday we started with the first um, part, which is why pray. Today we're going to chapter two, which says the various kinds of prayer. Is somebody excited? I mean, in 26 days you would have finished reading this book. I have some other um books i'm also reading some stories some other inspirational stories one is on your dreams and your vision you know so just subscribe to my channel invite other people and let's just go on this good journey together various kinds of prayer praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Like we should just start this with a little bit of prayer. Can we just pray in the Holy Ghost? Thank you because the entrance of your word gives light in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, because our hearts are illuminated. Thank you, Lord, for understanding. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation that is communicated in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because it will not just be head knowledge. Thank you, Lord, because light will invade the heart of men in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're reading the various kinds of prayer. Chapter 2. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Ephesians 6, 18. Notice that says praying with all prayer. The Amplified reads pray dot 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 with all manner of prayer. Another translation says praying with all kinds of prayer. But the translation that really strikes a note in my spirit is good speed. It reads, use every kind of prayer and entreaty and at every opportunity, pray in the spirit. Hmm. The Bible teaches several kinds of prayer and the different rules governing them. The church world makes a mistake in not differentiating between those different kinds of praying. We simply put all prayer in the same sack and shake it out together. Many prayers are not working because people are using the wrong laws, the wrong rules and laws. In the field of sports, for instance, we have baseball, basketball, football, golf, tennis, etc. These are all kinds of sports, but they are not all played by the same rules. Wouldn't it be confusing to play a baseball game with football rules or vice versa? The reason people are confused and have a prayer problem is that they have their rules and laws all mixed up together. They take rules which govern one kind of praying and try to apply them to other kinds of praying. Hmm. Speaking illustratively, they've got football, baseball, basketball, golf, and tennis rules supposedly all working together. They are confused and so is their prayer life. In the name of Jesus, every confusion ends today. And that's why we are reading this book. You will have clarity on the different kinds of prayer. And you know which one to apply per time, per season. One common misconception people have is they think they should conclude every prayer with the words, if it be thy will. They claim that's how Jesus prayed. However, Jesus prayed this way on only one occasion that is recorded in the scripture. That was in, in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed the prayer of consecration. When they attempt to pray the prayer of faith, the prayer of petition, the prayer to change things, they conclude it with, if it be thy will. And their prayer is hindered because they are uncertain of his will, his word. They may say, I don't understand why that didn't work. That would be like saying at a football game, I don't see why someone doesn't hit a home run. <laughs> like seriously, don't be confused. Go to the rule book, go to the Bible and see how to pray. I will list here several kinds of prayers the Bible teaches. However, I cannot go into detail on all of them in this book. I do have a book on prayer which deals with them in more detail. The prayer of faith is the prayer of petition, the prayer to change things. Matthew 21, 22, Mark 11, 24. This prayer always to be based on God's revealed will in his word never contains an if. So if you're using the if you're praying the prayer of prayer uh, the prayer of faith there's no if in that prayer you have to be absolutely sure what the revealed 
will of God is, as contained in the word of God. Second is the prayer of consecration. The prayer of consecration and dedication of our lives for God's use, to go anywhere and to do anything. In this prayer, we pray, if it be thy will. I mean, Japa prayer is a, is a if, is one of those if it be thy will prayers. Should I go to Canada? Should I remain in Nigeria? Should I go to the US? Should I go to the UK? I consecrate myself to you, not as I will, Lord, but your will. The prayer of commitment. Casting your cares upon the Lord in prayer, 1 Peter 5, 7. The prayer of worship. You know, prayer of commitment, you're worried about one thing or the other. You know, worried about your child, your child is in school, you're wondering what is happening. And then worry and different kind of silly thoughts is coming from Satan, your mind is troubled. The Bible says, cast all your cares on God because he cares about you. You can cast your cares about child on God and he will take those cares and you'll be free from them and your child will be saved in God's care. So we also have the prayer of worship. Luke 24, 52, 53, Acts 13, 1 to 4. We have the prayer of agreement, Matthew 18, 18 to 20. We have praying in the spirit, that's praying in tongues, in praying in agreement. Bible says, where two or three of you shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done. One of the rules for the prayer of agreement is that both of you must agree. You know, so you can't agree with somebody, maybe for instance, you're trusting God for healing. Somebody doesn't believe in healing. You can't agree with such a person because there's no agreement. So the fundamental thing about that kind of prayer is that there has to be an agreement. So there's the prayer of agreement. Matthew 18, 18 to 20, you can read that. The Bible says, where two of you shall agree as touching anything can be done. You can agree with your pastor. You can agree with a believer, a fellow friend. You know, somebody is in church, somebody that is trusted, that you know has your interest at heart. So we also have praying in the spirit, praying in tongues. First Corinthians 14. Well, 14, 15, Jude 20 also mentions praying in tongue, praying in the spirit. The Bible says when we pray in an unknown tongues, our spirit man prays, our understanding might be unfruitful, our spirit is praying. And Jude 20 says, build up yourself on your most holy faith, pray in the Holy Ghost. When we pray in the spirit, we are building up ourselves. When we pray in the spirit, we get to pray about things that are not even revealed to our minds, what we don't have enough information on. Praying in the spirit can handle that. Because in Romans chapter 8, it says the Holy Spirit helps and promises to pray. You know, we have limitations in prayer. We have limitations in prayer because we don't see everything. We are not omnipresent, so we are not everywhere at the same time. We don't know everything about our situation. We don't even know. We, we can only sometimes see the effects of certain things. You know, but when we pray in the Holy Ghost, we allow the Spirit of God to help us to pray perfectly. So he's able to help us to pray perfectly concerning whatever situation that is in our lives. All right? So we have the prayer of supplication. We also have intercessory prayer. So these two, these last two types of prayers are primarily covered in the next two chapters. So I won't need to talk about them now. All right. So if you want additional teaching, you know, you can also get a copy of Bible Prayer Study Course by um, Kenehi again. I will give you more insight. But for these 26 days, we're focusing on the heart of prayer. Let's get all the tips and become better at praying. Thank you for joining this morning. God bless you. Your week is blessed in Jesus' name. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Invite somebody else. Share this link with somebody. Let's grow this channel. Thank you very much. And as I mentioned at the, be at, at the beginning of the video, I have other contents that I'm also churning out. You know, I'll be churning out things in the finance space. Um, the investment and security at the circles. I'm going to be talking about that. You know, I have um, a book I'm reading already. Some stories from chicken soup for the soul. I mean, you will hear inspirational stories that will motivate you. You know, um, I also have a book by Melissa West on um, your dreams, your passions, hot pursuit by Melissa V West. You know, so just go to my channel, like the videos, listen to the videos, share them. Thank you so much. Do have a good day. See you tomorrow.